up and welcome back to the channel so today I am in Budapest uh, which is in Hungary I arrived here today and I'm here for 24 hours to explore the city now with all these trips I tried to fit in as much as I possibly can of course there are things I'm gonna miss off and things that I don't have time to do but I will try my best to fit in the top five things at the very least to do whilst here in Budapest so what, right before I begin, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help me and you can find plenty more videos like this on the channel. I'm filming this now in November time. Probably a little bit ambitious considering that I'm only wearing a jacket. But it's roughly about 5 or 6 degrees here now. Now, I think it's a really, really good time of the year to come because you've got the lead up to the Christmas markets. And you've also got a lot less tourists than you get when you come in the height of summer. Now you probably remember, if you're a regular subscriber of the channel, uh, the video that I did in Belgrade in Serbia. Now as much as that was a brilliant trip to do, it was a little bit too hot for me at the beginning of September. It was about uh, 33 degrees a lot of the time. And when I'm doing the tours around the city, it's quite nice to be at a temperature that's a lot more suitable for like touring around and looking around, etc. So there we go, that's just a note to say. So if you do come here around this time of the year, you can find in the center of the city, uh, the Christmas markets, which is a really worthwhile visit. Now a lot of people don't probably associate Budapest as much with the Christmas markets as say you do for the Berlin Christmas market or the Prague ones, but these are very much oncoming and highly recommended. Budapest is an incredible city and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me and explore as much as we can in the short space of time that we've got, 24 hours in Budapest. Let's go. Twenty-five past three and the sun is about to go down which means that a lot of this vlog is probably going to be at night now as it gets dark one of the things that I will be going over to is Buda Castle which is just on the other side of the Danube over there and it is one of the best vantage points in the city mainly due to the fact that it's quite high up to basically have one of the best views of the Parliament building uh, now we're walking along the other side of the river River Danube to check out the Parliament building. Now when the sun is setting, I'm hoping we're going to get a really cool golden outlook. We've got a bit of a rush though, racing against the time. We have decided rather than take the funicular up to the old town, or indeed a bust. We've started to walk, which is going to be a little bit of a, a trek up here, but over to the old town, uh, which will give us some incredible views. Now, where I've come from here, we can actually see over to the Parliament. I had wanted to come slightly earlier to try and get those beautiful golden shots, but I think that's still pretty good. And it'd be cool to see this in contrast in a moment when it's all lit up at night, which is really spectacular. I have seen it once before. And we've just crossed over on the suspension bridge here, which links Buda and Pest over the River Danube. Of course, also other options. So we we're obviously walking up here. Someone has decided to Take the scenic route. That looks tough. So we have now made it to the top, which only took about 10 minutes, to be honest with you and we uh, are trying to hunt out somewhere to get a very refreshing and well-deserved gin and tonic. But this view, my word, and it's kind of good, the best time we could have done it because we are now going to be experiencing the uh, lighting of the parliament building as well as the views that we're gonna get as the sun completely sets and all the lights of the city go on. 
But it is definitely worth walking it rather than taking the funicular or indeed the bus or a taxi. And it really wasn't that hard work at all to walk up here. Right, we have found part of Buda Castle. Obviously it's about to get quite dark. You can't quite, oh hello. Are we focusing in there? Yeah, we are focusing in. Look at this, this is bloody brilliant. And do you know what the good thing is? There's literally no one here. Loving it. This is why it's good to come here later in the evening and also at this time of the year. Yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the Budapest Terrace now to get to the incredible view out over the city. That is epic. So we are now walking back over the bridge, and I'm trying to, going to try and pronounce this correctly. The Shez Chennai Chain Bridge, probably wrong. But the good thing about what we're doing now is going back over when the sun has gone down and the lights have gone up over. And if you have a look, look at that for a view. Right, so let me just pop that just here and uh, ooh, let's get the light out of the way. Don't want to make myself look too ridiculous. Right guys, so uh, first of all, I am sorry I didn't quite finish uh, the outro for that. Um, I was literally only in Budapest for a really short period of time, so I thought I'd try and get as much content as was possible in that time frame. So as always, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's down wherever it is on the screen. Uh, and make sure you subscribe for plenty more content to come. I've got some incredible trips upcoming in the next few months. Um, I've got Iceland, I've got Poland, I've got uh, Scotland. It's really gonna be very exciting next few months. So you don't wanna miss out on all that incredible content coming very soon. Now, of course, if there's any improvements, now I'm aware that this was a very short vlog and I didn't manage to fit in as much as I wanted to during the time that I was in Budapest, but if you've got any feedback or anything you'd like to see in future vlogs, do drop them down in the comments below. I do read them, I'll make sure I take any feedback on board within reason, and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.